All right, so what I've got here is an archetype quick release plate. Uh, this one has an actual stopper at the end and is a little bit differently configured than some of the less expensive ones. Now you do spend $15 on this as opposed to the seven or $8 you spend on other ones, but they've added some nice features. One, you've got this little uh, sort of handle thing here for tightening things down to your camera. And you've also got a nice end stop here that allows you to butt this up against the end of your camera. It's also compatible with an Allen key. So you can place an Allen inside of this and tighten things down, get it really snug on your camera. And then with this flat plate on the back, you don't have to worry about any sort of slop. It's also got a nice little hoop right here. So if you have a hand grip for your camera, you can actually uh, work this into your hand grip as part of the bottom mounting plate. So if you want to use this instead of the plate that comes with your hand grip and have a built-in quick release plate, you can do that pretty easily with this little extra hoop there, which makes it really handy. Now I've got my camera right here. This is just a T2i I had sitting in the studio. So let's test this out real quick and you can see how it connects. For a battery grip, and the T2i, I will admit, has a very small battery grip, it still works out just about right. As you can see, it wants to sit nice and flush against the back here. You snug that down, and then, of course, tighten it in with this Allen. And it snugs up really well, nice and flush to the back of my camera. And you can see not a lot of outward penetration on the front of even this small T2i battery grip. On my 6D battery grip, it comes right up to the edge of the camera. So it works out really well. It works pretty nice. And you can see there's plenty of space to get to this hoop right here if you want to use a hand grip on the side of your camera. Really decent uh, quick release plate if you're in the market. It's a little expensive. So if you don't have a reason to buy this, there are cheaper options. But if you do want the hand grip option, the nice little easy to tighten down option, or you want it to have the end stop that catches up against your camera, then this is probably worth the extra bit of money. Also, it looks a little nicer than some of the other ones. And of course, it does have the nubs here and here that keep it from sliding around on your quick release plate. So if you open this one up right here and check, you can see that your camera can't slide out of its holster when you're loosening this up. You have to loosen it all the way in order to take this off of your camera. So really decent, well worth the price if that's what you're looking for. Pretty similar to a lot of the uh, Acra style plates on the market, but 15 bucks, not too bad. That's pretty much it for this Acra type plate.